Okay, so the way I'd solve this problem is, well, it says an annually having n payments of one has a present value of x. So present value of x, one payments, the first payment is made at the end of three years, and the remaining payments are made at seven year intervals thereafter, right? So um, since the first payment's made at the end of the three years, I defer it three years, right? Um, has present the first payment, and the remaining payments are made at seven year intervals right after. So determine X. Okay, well, the thing here is that what I notice is that they're subtracting amounts of present values from what I see as what I appear to be general thing. So all these choices have this, right? And I'm assuming that this represents the accumulation of, well, present values of seven year interval payments as denoted as seven N. And I think the plus three represents the amount of years deferred. So that is why some of these subtract a certain amount. So I noticed that for these, they're subtracting seven, which doesn't really make sense to me because only three years are deferred. So that's why I would get rid of C, D, and E. Another thing here is that if we want to determine X, I guess we would have to divide the whole portion by a certain amount. Um, but what doesn't make sense to me is why would we divide it by an accumulated value? You know what I'm trying to say? So I think to make everything all aligned makes sense. That's why I would choose B.